Hi everyone! Today is book review day! Yay! Ugh. I want to excuse how I might feel. Um, if my mood and the way my how I might act in this, it might be a bit moody and like unhappy sort of thing going on. I apologize. Um, I don't want to say what it is making this weird mood. But I want to apologize right here at the beginning why I might not, I might be a little weird. So, as it says in the title, I finished this little thing. Undead and Unemployed by Mary Janice Davidson. Little thing. Um, a picture of it right there. This is the case for it. Um, anyway, this thing. First off, I want to say, audiobooks are great. Especially when, if you're in the car and your only option of listen, reading a book is getting an audiobook, go ahead and it's, it's a great option. Especially like, you know, like this, you can use, you just have a jack and you put it into your AV unit or whatever thing that you use in your car. If it's like this thing and it connects to a cassette tape and you have to put that in or if literally it's a double-ended mail kind of wire so like it goes in here and then it goes into your car and then you can listen to this or if it's on disc. Either one is great. But... The thing is, I do like reading the book better. I did get into the book, but not as much as I would if I had like the physical copy in my hand. I did get invol in involved into the book. I did feel myself like get into the book, but at the same time, it wasn't enough that usually happens when I get in when I read a physical copy. Because certain things, like, oh my god, certain thing, oh my god, happenings, there certain things happening, I would have had an even more exaggerated, better reaction to it than I did when I would in here. But let's get to, like, the general review of this. My review of this is it's a decent book. It is a very decent book. At first, I was confused. And just like, what has this to anything to do with, like, the series? But I kind of understand how this might, in like, get to the rest of the book. Other books. Or at least to book six, because I think there's at least ten books. So there's four books that I have no idea anything after that. Uh, it was interesting, to say the least. She gets a job at Macy's and she loves it. But you only see her go for, like, like actually to work, like, three times. <laughs> Big thing happens, obviously, at the end of the book, and it just confused the hell out of me. Like, the way it the chap it ended at the chapter, it was like, what the fuck just happened? Like, in the last three, three, like, at least five chapters, like, the last five chapters, shit went down. You know shit's gonna go down in the last five chapters, anyway. So I'm not spoiling anything. You already, you know, like, generally reading a book, you know shit will happen. Everything will culminate and shit will happen all at the end of the book. So anyway, I couldn't believe what happened and it's like, how, how did, at, at the time when it was being read to me, it was like, what the fuck? How, how, how is this happening when this happens in book six? Like, that, that's still there in book six. Like, and then a chapter later because everything, like, <laughs> from the end of one chapter to the end of the next chapter, it, it fixed itself. It was like, yeah, I, I saw that coming. I totally saw that coming. The sex in here, again, I like, I, when I read romance novels, I like there to be more sex. And you, there, this is book two, again. It's book two. And, like, I can understand Betsy and Sinclair's relationship, but they only ever do it once. So far in these two books. Do it one time. And for me, with romance novels, I like it when it happens a bit more multiple times. Or sort of like multiple times. It may not be full act of like full intercourse, but it's a very sexy scene. And just not a whole lot of lot of sexy scenes, except for the one. Which, <laughs> pretty... In scene, it's a pretty in like weird and kind of incredible scene. But like, listen to it, it's like, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's an obvious thing that happened. Also, the thing with, um, again, with Betsy and Eric. Uh, I, okay. I'm not spoiling this, but you, if you read this, read the first book in this book, well, you know they have problems. 
problems. They have problems. They don't like each other. But then, you know, in book six, they're, they're, they're getting, they're, they're, they're engaged. Like, pretty much the wedding is going to happen, like, I know it's been a while since I read it, but I think it happens, like, at the end of the book, or, or like, you know, they like have, like, in the epilogue, it's like, she sums it up, like, we had a lovely wedding, and, you know, something along those lines, I'm thinking. Or else the actual wedding is in the next book. But, anyway. I don't understand how they're here, how they even start, and then in by book six, they're engaged. They're engaged to be married. But since listening to this book, I can start to understand the progress and how they get to book six from this one. The villain I did not see happening. I thought it would be like someone completely random, just just out of the blue type of random. It, and the connection to... to Oh, it was a, just, just, oh my god, there was a lot of scenes where I, like, I knew what she pretty much was going to say, or how she was going to react, like, I would totally react that way. This is very weird, and as I said, I need the physical book to really get into it, because I think I had a better, um, more, maybe more in-depth book review than I had with this. And the sad thing is, book three is also, I can get book three at my library, but it's another audiobook, and it's only this one. But it's very, quite the interesting story. Thanks for watching this awkward, re weird review. But anyway, I'm going to continue on with something so lovely. Because I love this, and I, I'm nearly halfway through. Like, I, I, ah, I hate it. But it's getting through my own personal books and I will get this through this pretty fast. I am going to continue watching Criminal Minds. I am on season nine. I started watching season nine. And then during the uh, the beginning credits and the end credits. I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna continue reading this. Lovely, lovely book. I love it. Oh I'm gonna be sad when I'm finished it because I won't be able to get another intimidity book till next year because you only publishes one book a year. Just sad, but it means that she devotes all of her time to Aunt Demidity. If you liked this weird, crazy video, hit the like button down there and leave comments down below if you actually liked this uh, book. If you want to see more of my weird, wacky review books, if this is the first time watching my, my videos, hit the subscribe button down there beside my picture, if it's still like that the way the layout is and you know yes get more book reviews hauls unboxing unbagging vlogmas and sometime regular vlogging videos not vlog not, not not daily vlogs but you know vlogging videos where i vlog a day here or maybe there somewhere all right i'm gonna go i get to get to go okay i will see you all in my next video bye everyone